Hello everyone, Adam F6B Adventures here. I ride a 2022 Honda Goldwing and I record all of my trips and throw them up on YouTube. If you're into motorcycles, hockey, or any sort of adventure, you're at the right place. Hopefully you guys ride safe and maybe I'll see you guys down the road. See ya. All right, well, let me stop dancing and get on this bike. You guys wanted a video, let's start it. Enjoy the video, guys. Well, we're here, I got Slappy on the phone. Uh, we're doing a little bit of preparation for my Alaska trip, and I decided to try it out here in Dallas, Texas. If it can survive in Dallas, Texas, I think I can survive anywhere else, for the most part. Uh, we're gonna set it up. I am on the phone with Slappy. Say hi, Slappy. Hey, what's going on, hi, Slappy? <laughs> well, we're here. And here's my flashlight, but we're gonna set this tin up and call it a date. Slappy said, "Hey, set it up and start with the camera and make a video out of it." I'm like, "Okay, I guess if you insist." Yeah, yeah everything's content, there, F6B. If everything's content, you gotta get out there. I'm proud of you for doing preparation. You gotta prepare yourself. You gotta stress test your equipment. To see if it's going to work or not going to work. Like, I don't like how this is. I do like how this is. Uh, you don't want to find out that you don't like it out there in the field. You need to do what? With your lazy walrus or, or your pet monkey. Wear that damn thing you carry around with you. <laughs> Get that to help me, huh? Yeah, he does. Got it in his keep. There you go. No, but Chick-fil-A can't be too far, right? One eternity later. Well, there's the tent. Uh, now I gotta blow this thing up. Be out of breath by the end of this video. I gotta flip it around. There we go. Now I'm done. You're out of breath. <laughs> my little tent. All right, where's my flashlight at? Here it is over here somewhere, I think. Oh shit, I don't know where I put my flashlight at. Here we go. I'm gonna leave all this here like that. Boom. Here's my little tent. And we're gonna check it out inside. Look at this. Welcome to my crib. Maybe Glenn was right. Maybe I should have got a bigger crib. I like the reflective string. Everything's all set up. And here's my, my sleeping bag. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. It, all right, so I kind of cheated a little bit, a lot actually, and gave myself electricity in my little tent. So let's figure out how we can make a shot of me getting in the tent. Buy thermobiles first. Well, hello there. Hi. That was really bright. Well, we made it. And we're gonna test it out. Let me turn this, there we go. We made it in the tent and we're gonna test it out for tonight. See how it is. There's no sort of ventilation, which kind of, there we go. Woo. 
You gotta figure out how to keep this thing up because it's hot. As long as the boogeyman doesn't get me, I think we'll be okay. I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. All right. It's literally been only like 10 minutes. And issue number one is hot. The back over there is supposed to be open so I can have some sort of ventilation going through. But I think I screwed it up somehow. Like, how do I keep that pole up? Hmm. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. And I have electricity, so I'm cheating. It feels good out here in the grass, but inside my little tent, it doesn't feel so good, it's hot. I know I'm cheating just a little bit because I have electricity right now. Um, but what I'm trying to deal with is there's no ventilation, right? You gotta have some ventilation in this thing. And my number one option is to open up this little hole back here. And how I had it earlier, when it wasn't falling down, this part right here, was like this, giving it like that essentially, giving it no sort of ventilation. So, I'm gonna fix it real quick. And let me show you how. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this tent how it was, boom, in the ground, right? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this wire right here. This is not cheating because I did have this on my bike. I always carry some string with me, some rope of some sort of measure with me on the bike at all times. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna tie it around the top of this little thing right here, like so. Let me show you up close. Here you go, so you can see it. Tie it up like so. There you go, like so. And then I'm gonna use that and kinda go like this. Boom. What you do is, you make a loop, like they teach in the Boy Scouts. Boom. Boom, there's your loop. Boom, easy. Then, you're gonna take this other little loop, little anchor, point it up. Now I'm gonna tie this to the top. There we go. Now we got some sort of air flowing through, you see? Boom. Something, because it's hot. Now, let's try it again. See if we got any better setup now. So uh, I just set up my tent and it's time to call Slappy back. Give him the outcome. Hey, Slappy, what's up? Slap dog is here. <laughs> well, Slappy, I wanted to give you an update. My only negativity right now with the the camping is it's hot. <laughs> well, uh, you do live in Texas, don't you know? I I do know. <laughs> and. Go ahead. Hmm, I don't know, let's check. It is hot. Let me see. Here you go. Sixty-four degrees in East Tennessee. Let's see. Forty-nine degrees in Milwaukee, but I'm not in Milwaukee anymore. In Dallas, Texas, it is sixty-seven degrees. And you're hot. I think what I screwed up, maybe I can it feels good when I have the wind blowing through, but I think I put it in the wrong direction so the wind's not really flowing through my tent. You might be having a hot flash. Yeah, I'm about that age, you know? Yeah, yeah menopause. Now, you know, some, if it's not going to rain, do you got a rain fly on top of your tent? No, it's just like it has like a, it's a little hot dog tent and it has a rain fly already on the outside. You can't take it off? No. Yeah. Yeah, you just bought the wrong day gum tent. Take it back and get you another one. <laughs> but you're gonna appreciate not having that in the last because you start going up north, you ain't gonna want that dug on the breeze or you ain't gonna find this hot up there, you're gonna be like, oh my nipple the hard is cold. It was cold. <laughs> it's so cold that the shrinkage is real. <laughs> 
<laughs> like in the video of uh, the polar plunge, pretty much. Well, I, I, did I did jump in that glacier water though when we went to uh, Glacier National Park. That water was pretty cold. The was pretty real too. Hmm. Well, I cheated. I I only set up my phone like I brought a, an extension cord out here to my actual tent to have an extension cord from the garage, but that's to charge the phone so I can talk to you and stuff. But. Uh, Yeah, but I have to think reality. I might not always have electricity. Well, you know what now? Of course, you know, camping with a trainer without a trainer. With my trainer, I do got a box fan. Of course, I've got a battery, external camping battery on my trainer. So I, I do bring a fan and a heater. We've got a badass over here. Yeah. You know, you're thinking about small, where you're going to put a heater, where you're going to put it back on a, a fan. Exactly. Yeah, you can always uh, bring your little small extension cord, put a little box fan in there. At least you got a little breeze if it's hot. You so camping down south and it's hot. You know, get a little breeze going if, you, if it ain't one. If it's cold, you can still have that same extension cord to have your little small heater to heat up your tent and all that. But you can always find camping That's true. That's very true. Yeah. I got a lot of knowledge in my head there. I got a big head, but I got a lot of stuff stored up in there. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty smart. Yeah, but what I was saying too, that um, if you start going up north and it's kind of chilly and you know you're not going to camp and that's going to be the end of your camping, just uh, ship all that camping stuff home. There's a UPS store everywhere and get, up, get out of your way. There you go. Slappy's got the right idea. No charge. No charge. I ain't, I, this is free. I ain't going to charge you for this. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm worried about what you are going to charge for now. Yeah, this, this, uh, I charge, charge with likes. Please like, share, and subscribe to Slappy Adventures. There, there you go. Out. Well, if you're new to the channel, uh, if you're new to YouTube, and you like this moto camping stuff, uh, I got a buddy, the guy I'm talking to on the phone, Slappy Adventures. Uh, it's I'm, Slappy! <laughs> let's slappy adventures slappy dog uh he does a lot of this uh cowboy camping when he wants to when he needs to uh he puts down the miles i'll tell you that much and um whew. but I, I wanted to try it out i've been i've never done the cowboy camp and i have got tired in kentucky got tired in virginia and took a nap on a bench but not a long-term overnight nap and Slappy Dog has been doing it for a long time, so I wanted to see if I could do the Slappy Dog adventure style uh, cowboy camping. And this is night number one of testing it out. My only issue right now is it's hot, but there's a breeze coming in. You can kind of see, I'll, I'll hold it still. Yeah, you can kind of see that there's a breeze, but I think what I did wrong was I didn't direct and see where the breeze was coming from. But you know we can still fix that and it's going to get colder along as the night goes but um you know slappy is kind of the uh the uh inspiration for this kind of this part of the trip or this part of the adventure and um i'm the same thing but let me tell you this right here. so what you're doing is called tent camping yeah cowboy cowboy camping is basically sleeping out amongst the stars no cover no no shelter, no tent. You just sleeping on the grass or sleep. Well, me, I like to sleep on my cot. Sleeping on the air mattress. That's cowboy camping. So you, you're tent camping, which uh, is fine too. Baby steps, everybody. Baby steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got milk and honey. You got to feed a baby milk and honey. That's what the good preacher would say. Milk and honey. All I need is a yeah. pillow, but I've been. I was using my sleeping bag as a pillow. 
sleep on a daggum concrete slab. <laughs> now, is that the original tent you bought? I know you said you had bought the wrong tent at one time. Did you take it back or you, that's, the, that's the one you bought? This is a different one, and I bought this one the other day. It was it was like 40 bucks, and now I see why, but. Yeah, that's, a, that's what you call the condom tent. You know why I call it a condom tent? Hey, I gotta keep it PG. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> why do you call it a condom tent, Slappy? You're just gonna use it one time. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right, Slappy. You're probably right. <laughs> but you get what you pay for. Yeah. I, I mean, you really do. So I, if, I, if I recommend anything about a tent, he is... Go to an Outfitters or REI, something like that. Those tents are built to last, and they're good. They got, you know, they priest and, and really, I mean, if something goes wrong with it, they'll take it back and give you no. But yeah. They got a lot of uh, waterproofing, windproofing. You know, they got, you know, you kind of want to get a three-season tent. I'm going to wake up all sweaty and need to take a shower and all. Oh, my God. Well, that's, that's camping. You don't smell like what they call a uh, uh, hiker trash. <laughs> hiker trash. Yeah. You're going to smell like a bag full of assholes. <laughs> oh, man, it's hot in this thing. Is it that damn hot? You got to send me a picture of it. I want to see what you're working with over there. Here's my tent. Uh, I sent a picture to Slappy. Slappy, what do you think? Yeah, that looks like uh, Snoopy's doghouse. <laughs> that looks like your personal uh, coffin. <laughs> and if a bear sees it, what is he going to say? That's a burrito? Oh, yeah. There goes a burrito that smells like some hiker trash. But, I mean, that had to get the job done. I, I, I believe you can get a better tent than that that's... Uh, That's what Glenn was saying. Yeah, a little bit more room and a little bit more uh, ventilation, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, that right there is uh, what you call uh, somebody balling on a budget. I don't even know if I'm balling, man. I'm just on a budget. Hey, I'd rather damn uh, sleep on my damn little old sleeping cot out there in the stars if I'm going to do that. Because I'm going to tell you something, when I, when I camp like that, I'm only going to camp. I don't give a damn if I got my tent. I'm only going to camp if it ain't going to rain. Yeah. If I know it's going to rain, I'm going to be in the motel because there ain't nothing worse than that going to try to pack up a muddy, wet tent in, in your gear and trying to uh, put it in your bike. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it where if I get too tired, I can just go and sleep on the side of the bench or something. But, uh, you know, something. So yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. Sleep on the side of the bench. They don't concrete. Uh, Picking the table feels a whole lot better than uh, sleeping and uh, taking a ditch nap. What's that? You know what the ditch nap is, don't you? No. When you fell asleep and damn dead, you're going to woke up in the ditch. <laughs> Sounds like you're not going to wake up if you're in the ditch. You're going to be ambulance nap or or morgue nap, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you wake up, but it's, it's going to hurt real. Them ditch naps hurt real bad. 12 o'clock midnight. I'm just trying to sleep over here. I went back inside and got my blanket and my pillow. But that's how the dogs react to the sirens. Maybe not, but it is currently, like I said, 2.27. Now I'm tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep now. I've been watching YouTube videos trying to go to sleep, but. Six and a half hours later. Well, I stayed in my tent, like I said I would, and I found out that I had to have some sort of blanket or something to cushion me. Uh, so I brought my blanket, hi, and yeah, but also, uh, when it's really windy, the only sturdy part of this whole tent is this pole right here, there's a pole right here, 
and there's a the pole in the back of this triangle right here. Let me see. This one right here is a, a pole, and this one right here is a pole. Sorry. This one right here is a pole right here, and this one right here is a pole. And that's it. But it's all flappy, like it's really windy right now. So look at that. That takes out like half my space. It's a work in progress. I did sleep though. My mom woke me up like, you okay in there? Yeah, I'm good. Testing out the tent. I think I'm gonna get a bigger one. This one kind of sucks. I'll keep you updated. This is my new tent option right here. We're gonna set her up. At least try it to, here we go. Without even looking at what we need to actually do. There's wing there. Pretty big actually. Wow. Okay. Okay, here we go. Then we're gonna take our poles, which are back here. Boom. 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 Here's the top of the tent, looks like. It's a pretty big tent. There we go, and there is the top of our tent right there. Here we go, let's do it. So, number one, in the hole. Boom. Number two, first clip. Number four, top clip. Boom. And there we go. There's top of the first section right there. Now we gotta figure out how to keep it up. We're gonna just lay it against the tree. Or lack of a tree. Now we find our second set of holes. Here we go. Same thing. Man, I could be a camp guy myself, you know? I might have to run my own tour guide set up, you know? Ka chow. Here we go. Then, like we did on the last one, just start latching them. And this is a different version. This is a new tent because my old tent was too small. So we went a little bit bigger and bought this tent, you know? There we go. That looks like a pretty nice sized tent right there, Billy. If there ever was one. Here we got a little rest area, a little mat. That's a pretty nice sized little tent right there. Then, where's the other piece? This is gonna be the fun part, figuring out how to put this thing on. Mmm, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna guess that that's gonna go above the front of it. So, hmm, we might have to read some instructions here. It's nothing old YouTube can't figure out, so let's look it up on YouTube real quick. Well, look at this, you can't go wrong with this. Here we go, maybe. This is a $30 tent. Is it good? Is it crap? Let's find out. Well, I found out where that little bar goes and it goes right in the middle, right here like this. A little bit lower, I don't have it exactly tied up how it's supposed to, but yeah. So, let's try to find a way in this dang thing. Welcome to my crib. Look at this, it even has a little zipper. Look out the window. Like a weird, creepy old lady. Get out of my lawn, you brother. Cool. I like it. Look at all this room I got. I, all this room for activity. It's hot, though.